Hello everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome to my craft room. This morning I'm just playing with my Glimmer hot foil system and I want to just make a bunch of sentiments so that I can have them ready when I make my cards and I'm already ready with some color and wonderful um, sayings. This comes from the Simon Hurley Photosynthesis Collection that is now back in stock. Then they also bundled it, which is wonderful. So everything in the collection these wonderful sentiments that are the must-have sentiments. As you can see, I have my gold here, and I've done my moon dust. We're going to do silver today. The cutting dies, the floral stems. The vases, the vases. I love the vases. These ceramic vases are so adorable to cut out. Then they ha he has the hot foil uh, modern stripes. There's three of them in there, small, medium, and large stripes and the daffodil frames those are cutting dies and then the zigzag uh, chevron cutting die this is all in a bundle so i think there's like six of them and you can purchase that it's linked below i am an affiliate for spellbinders scrapbook.com gina k designs and amazon so when you click on a link and you place an order i do make a small commission I, uh, that is at no cost to you but I sure do appreciate you clicking on my link and ordering. So let's just talk about a little reverse foiling. This is what I, I wanted to show you. As I was doing this, I was like, let me just make a video really quick of the next color uh, to do because I just wanted to show you how awesome it is to use every bit of your product. You, it's actually two for one. You do need a solid hot foil plate. I will put a link below for this solid hot foil plate. Uh, and that is the way that you do your reverse foiling. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and move all of this to the side and I'll put it all in my little bag or a cup or something like that that I'm going to use for these. And my glimmer, my Spellbinders glimmer machine is ready. We want to take the hot foil plate and put it up with the sentiment looking at you, or the pretty side is what I call, of the uh, plate, the pretty side looking up at you, to the pretty side of the foil. Now I have some pretty silver here, and I'm just going to lay that down on top, and see it covers my entire piece of the plate, and then we're going to use a little cardstock here. I like hammer mill cardstock, just like that. Two shims. The thin shim that is kind of a opaque, frothy green, this has a heat protectant in it, so you want to put this one down first, then your spacer pad. I go over this a lot because hot foiling, push your timer button, it's going to blink when it's solid, we're going to go ahead and use our die cutting machine. So I've got a Spellbinders Platinum 6 uh, spell, uh, die cutting system, but you can look on the website and it will show you the... Uh, systems that it's compatible with and sometimes with different systems you need a shim this came with a shim this spellbinder shim some you do some you don't so you have to learn your machine and just learn you know like what kind of pressure that you need but the more you do and I'm learning this too the more I do the better I get and I find sometimes that doing something like this just sitting in here and foiling you guys absolutely loved my foil technique on dies that's the video before this one you absolutely loved it that's a game changer to foil on the die itself that really gives you a whole different dimension of card making and I, I was I was amazed I thought it came out really, really pretty. And I know I've had a lot of comments on it, so I appreciate that. And I try really to comment on everyone. I always say thank you for watching. And then, now I'm going to roll this through and roll it through once and slow. Because what I'm doing is pressing the foil into the paper. But I do try to comment on everyone. And uh, you all sometimes have such great ideas. I appreciate it. So thank you so much. All right, let's see how we did. Let's move this to the side. It doesn't really take long to foil at all. It's so much fun. And of course, here's the die. I will cut it out eventually. But today, for us, is all about foil. Look at that. I'm using hammer mill cardstock. There's a link below. I love that. Is that not perfect? Look at that. Now I have 
moon dust, gold, and now silver. A little over foiling out through here, but that's okay with this because of the die. We're going to die cut this out just like that. And you're not going to have to worry about any of that over foiling. Okay, now, now my glimmer system, it, the glimmer system came with this, the silicone mat with the magnet. I love this because it will pick up the plate and then when you hit the button, it releases it. Very nice. Now let's talk about, I redock that, the solid hot foil plate. So the pretty side of this hot foil plate is the one that's indented. I'm going to go ahead and place it here on my uh, Glimmer hot foil machine. I'll be right back when my lights come on and I'm going to show you how to do reverse foiling. And this is where you get two for one because you don't want to throw this out. It used to be, from what I understand, you were done. Like you foiled and then you were done. And then Pink Fresh Studio came out with this solid hot foil plate to then use this piece. I'm really, I've, it's just makes, like I said, two things out of, out of one piece of foil. I love it. Okay. I'll be back in just a minute when that, all the lights turn green. Okay, while we were gone, now my timer light is on here and pretty side is up. And I've die cut a little bit while, we, while I was away. And I'm putting pretty to pretty. Remember, I know that you really want to put the pretty side of the foil toward you, but that's a no-no because what we're doing is pressing the foil into the hammer mill cardstock. Cardstock on top, press the timer. Thin shim, spacer pad, here we go. And this is so wonderful. So let me show you this. I die cut these. Look how perfect they are and glimmery. Sometimes you don't need a color. You just need silver. And I think that's fantastic. Look at that, Justin. Just a note is one of my favorite things to craft with because it just tells somebody that for just a split second, you were really on my mind, and I wanted to just write you a little note. And I think that's so cute. Look at the thank you. There's the thinking of you, sending hugs. Love you so much. No wonder they call this uh, um, the must-have sentiments. I lost it there for a minute. Did you see? The must-have sentiments. Because it's, a, it's perfect for every just about everything. We just don't have, um, even thinking of you could be a birthday. Love you so much could be a birthday. You know, you could love you so much on the outside and put happy birthday in the inside. Sending hugs could be sympathy. So it really takes care of everything. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, look, are, we are ready. We are ready. Good. Now, I have the Platinum 6 machine. Let me scooch this over. And let's bring this here. Okay. Whoops. And <laughs> something went off the back. So that's okay. I work in a really small space, like most of us do. Now I'm going to run this through. And now I have a solid hot foil plate. If you're worried about underfoiling, something like this, you could use a, a shim, or because it's a solid hot foil plate, you can run it back and forth a couple of times if you wanted to. I'm going to go through one time. Let's see what we get. Every machine is different, so you have to learn your machine. And let's see. Let's see, there's a nice little film here. Oh, that's perfect. Oh no, one time's perfect. And here we go. Isn't that wonderful? And now look, we've used every bit of our foil. Two for the price, it's definitely a twofer. It's a twofer deal, right? Two for the price of one for sure on this. Let's go ahead and die cut it, All right? Let's go ahead and get this die cut. So, I like to use a magic mat. Let me move this all the way aside because they're flat. They don't warp. So I'm gonna put, as you can see, I love it. I use it all the time. It goes back in whatever machine I'm using, it goes back and forth. And we're going to just stick this right here. And let me get my die. And I'll line this up here. Now, see, I have no warping. I really, I could use some tape, but I really don't need to. There we go. That's perfect. And let me get a clear plate. What happens is the magic mat substitutes for one of the clear plates. And down. And here we go. And 
There we go. Let me get this guy out of the way. Now, as you can see, it's very well loved and used. And there's side two. Isn't that wonderful? So you get a lot of use, a lot, a lot of use out of it. And uh, I believe they're on sale. Like I said, I'll put a link below. No big deal, right? Look how cute this is. Now look at that hello. And look at this hello. This one has the foil in the background and the white on top. This has the white in the background and the foil on top. Let's lay these out. Just a note. Thank you. If you would like to up your game and start foiling, now is the perfect time to start. Actually, any time is the perfect time to start. I, I was introduced to this by a video, and I haven't stopped foiling since. I make mistakes. I make boo-boos all the time. I, there is a, a little bit, you know, I have to be honest, there's a little bit of a learning curve. I'm still learning. So, but I think I'm doing a, I'm getting it, you know, and I'm doing a pretty great job with it. So now I have all of these sentiments ready to go in silver, moon dust. Let's take some of these guys around, right? And my gold, wherever that went over there, and gold. So I have all of these sentiments ready to go on wonderful cards that I'm going to create. And I had a lot of fun hot foiling. So if you'd like to start to hot foil, now is the time to begin. I'll put all the links below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.